Hello and welcome to Splotch Code. This video is about making gravity and movement controls ready to go right into your game. Let's get started. So currently the sprite that we have ready is the basic scratch cat. We are going to use a different sprite gotten from our resource page. So if we go into our backpack, we've actually saved Kevin the koala from our resource page. So we're going to move Kevin over here. Now Kevin is there. Now we can delete the scratch cat. And now we can close our backpack and get ready to code. So we have to start by getting making a sprite, which is going to be the ground of our project. So we're going to press on create sprite and paint and then we're going to go and choose a nice green I'm guessing because grass is green. And we will choose no outline here so that we don't have a weird outline. So we just want the ground to be just down here. So we're going to go to the box tool and then we just do that and it's simple as that but now you see it's like that so we're going to extend it and we can do this and extend it even further we can lower it down on this so now we've got it into the correct position this ground spray will be what Kevin can walk on and what he will land on so now let's move back over to the code on Kevin. We have to go down to the orange one here, variables, and we are going to make a variable. This variable is going to be called speed. This will control how fast Kevin is running and will just be a lot of the basis for moving. Now we're also going to make a jump. This is going to be Kevin's jump height and all the bases for jumping. The third variable we are going to make is jump lock. This is going to make it so Kevin can't jump and then jump again while he's still in the air. So that when but when Kevin lands he can jump again. Okay, so now we've got our three variables there. Let's move on to the start of the code. You can untick those so they're not there. Okay, so we are going to start with the basis of the code, which is the running code. We grab a when flag clicked, and then we go to control, and we get a forever loop. This is going to be around our whole code for today's project. Now we can get a if then block here, and in there we are going to go to sensing and get a if key pressed and we are going to change it to if right arrow pressed. Now inside of our if then statement we are going to grab a change by one and we are going to change the speed by one. So, at the current moment in time, nothing really happens. It just changes the speed by one. Now we are going to grab an another if-then statement. And it's going to be if left arrow clicked. So get another, get another keys pressed. And if key left arrow pressed, get to variables, change... And we're going to change the speed by minus one. So this means that when the right arrow is clicked, click, it's going to speed up. And it will go to the right side of the screen. If the left arrow is clicked, it will speed up and go to the left side of the screen. The next part, which is very important, is we go to motion and we get a change x by speed. So we go change x by, 
under this if statement and then go to variables grab this one here and pull it over into that circle there change x by speed now what happens Kevin can run yay Kevin can run that's very good for Kevin so now we're going to make it so if Kevin's touching the ground Kevin can run at a different speed so we are going to get a, another if statement this one's going to be an if then else statement and we are going to then grab a chain if touching if touching and we're going to put in our name of our ground which is actually called sprite one okay after we've done that we are going to go to the change x by in motion then we are going to get go back to our variables and get the speed and move it over here and we're going to get an operator and we are going to get this one here the little asterisk star thing in there and we're going to have speed times by and in there we're going to put in minus one now in the else part of this statement we are going to grab a set and we are going to set speed to Can grab an operator and make it so it sets the speed to speed times 0 0.8. Now we're just going to go up above into this if statement again and we're going to grab a set to 0. And we're going to get speed. Okay, so now we've pretty much done the whole speed thing so now he runs up and back if we want to change the speed we can we can make him 2 and minus 2 here and that will change the speed to that okay so let's just take it back to 1 and minus one you can experiment with, with those speeds okay so now we're going to move on to the jumping so we are going to go change y so under that if else statement let's change y to variables jump this won't do anything yet now we are going to go to the if then and grab an if and then we're going to move it to sensing here and if we're going to say if touching the ground we're going to make it so it changes the y by jump but we're going to grab an operator so it's jump times minus one so we're going to go over and get jump times minus one okay so now we have got so if if it's touching the ground, jump will go down by will be times by minus one. But now we want to go stay in here and grab a set jump to zero. 
Okay, so now we're going to grab another if else statement to go in in another if then statement. And we're actually going to take all that out of there and that and grab an if else statement and put it in here and move all these blocks into that if else statement. Okay, now in this second if statement, we are going to grab a equals here. So if variables jump lock equals zero, that'll make it. So if the jump lock equals zero, this will be able to happen. And then grab another if then block. If key up arrow, so this is allowing the jump, is pressed, then set jump to 10. This will allow him to jump up and set jump lock to one. So this will make sure you cannot jump again because of this jump lock equals zero block up here. Then in the else of this statement here, once those two are closed off, in the else of this statement here, we're going to have a change jump by minus one and a set jump lock to zero. So now we've got, we've written a long line of code which should allow some full gravity. So we'll drop down and okay, the koala can run, jump with these right, left and up key, arrow keys. Thank you for watching Splotch Code. <laughs>